The World Games are coming in July of 2022. Sumo, softball, lacrosse, sport climbing, powerlifting, and more. This is the new generation of sports. Tickets are on sale. Buy today at TWG2022.com. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Tuesday, the 20th of July. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather stays unsettled through midweek with scattered to numerous showers and storms each day through Friday. Then we trend hotter and drier by the weekend and next week. There's the upper air look across the country this afternoon. Pretty much the same deal we've seen for a while. A big upper high over the western states. A downstream trough here across the deep south providing a lot of showers and storms this afternoon. There's the visible satellite view. Got a little bit of sunshine across the state, but also a number of showers and storms. That was the radar composite around 2.30. Heavier storms producing a lot of rain with flooding potential continuing across the state because the soil is absolutely saturated. Got a few spots up in the mid-80s today. Birmingham 84, Anniston 85, Tuscaloosa with rain. They've got 76. There is a flash flood watch in effect, for parts of north and central Alabama as far south as Tuscaloosa, Bibb, Shelby, Talladega, Clay, and Randolph counties. But again, anybody in the state could see some heavy rain over the next few days. Around the nation, got a severe thunderstorm watch for parts of upper New England and an excessive heat warning for a few counties in eastern Montana. Main risk of severe storms over the northeast United States through tonight. Tomorrow, a risk of severe storms from near Baltimore to the coast of Maine. In day three, which is Thursday, no organized severe weather expected across the country. Here's the rain for the next seven days. Really, some of the wettest weather is back in the southwest. Much of Arizona getting wet because of the annual monsoon rain there. Down here, rain amounts about one inch between now and Tuesday morning of next week. But again, your number could vary. Some of these heavy downpours could drop bad in just 30 minutes or one hour. And off in the tropics, things are still very quiet. No tropical storm formation in the short term or out to five days. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS. This is the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at 4. Troughing over the northeast United States, an upper low that is over Texas. And same old story, a lot of clouds scattered to numerous showers and storms, highs mid-80s. Same thing Thursday and really the same thing Friday, each day for the rest of the week. A little bit of sun each day, a few passing showers and storms likely. Uh, the heavier storms, very efficient rain producers, highs in the mid-80s. This is Saturday, and notice how we start to see the showers thinning out as an upper ridge begins to build. Showers becoming fewer in number. In fact, a lot of places could be dry. The sky partly sunny, the high close to 90. And Sunday, a lot of sun, low 90s, and only isolated showers as the ridge dominates. Same thing Monday, hot and dry for most locations. And a week from today, Tuesday the 27th of 594 upper high on top of us. And again, that looks hot and mostly dry with the chance. There's always a chance of a brief pop-up storm somewhere, but nothing like the rains we've seen recently. We'll go out 10 days. This is Friday of next week, July 30th, 594 upper high north and west of the state. And that looks typical for the end of July, partly sunny, hot, muggy, a few scattered afternoon storms. Rain for Birmingham. This is off the GFS Ensemble. This is between now and the 4th of August. Rain amounts, the mean there, between 2 and 3 inches. Here comes the heat. We'll stay in the 80s through Friday, then low and mid-90s likely next week as the ridge builds. Come on now, it is late July in Alabama, and here's the brand new CPC outlook. Hot off the presses, July 28th through August 3rd. Much of the country, including the Deep South, with temperatures above average. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.